Electrical panels suck. The basic design hasn't changed in nearly a hundred years. In today's video, we're going to be joined by a senior engineer from Lumen to talk about new smart and adaptive panels that put you back in control of your home's energy system. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And in most cases, we do that using a renewable energy solar with battery storage system. Now, I've got another special guest coming on to be with us today. In just a moment, I'm going to be joined by John Prophet from Lumen Smart Panel to talk about smart electrical panels and how it gives you more visibility and control into your home's energy needs. So let's go to the interview. So John, for, for those of you who don't know you and Lumen, please start out by just giving a little bit of your personal background. How did you get into solar with battery backup? And, and what has Lumen been doing for the last few years? Well, first of all, great to be on with you, Joe, and thanks for inviting us. Um, so my, my personal solar story probably starts in graduate school when uh, my supervisor at the time asked me if I could come over and help build a flat plate solar collector. Um, I thought it was going to be a great research project. Turns out it was just, you know, cheap labor, but hey, it got me into solar. And um, from there, I went to work in the nonprofit sector for a while doing community solar programs, solarized programs, uh, found my way onto a very small solar company at the time, uh, an EPC in the mid-Atlantic area, helped build that company out for about five years. And during that time, um, I partnered with uh, another startup. They didn't even have a product yet, but we're starting to build it. And that company was Lumen. Um, and we were doing uh, smart circuit breaker technology and pairing them with solar storage. Uh, and that's, that's currently what we're working on now. Great, great. So for those that aren't experts on this, what's the problem with electrical panels the way they are today? Yeah, it's a great question. So um, we, we feel like electrical panels just totally missed the IoT revolution. So everything in our homes and our buildings was getting smarter, was getting more energy efficient. Yet the circuit breaker panel, as our, our founder and, and CEO likes to refer to it, is still this dumb gray metal box that just sits, uh, sits at that critical junction where the electricity service provider, whether that be yourself or the utility, meets the building occupant. And it, it just sort of dawned on us that we need to make this thing more intelligent. And we do it for several reasons. I mean, once you have smart circuits, uh, there's a plethora of problems that it solves. Everything from you know, managing your energy consumption to empowering homeowners to know where their energy is going, um, as well as helping to unlock, you know, utility demand response programs, uh, power control systems for electrification projects that need uh, main panel service upgrades that no longer will if you're able to use hardware and software. Uh, really, really, there's so many applications I think that we could talk about right now, but the first one just being um, managing consumption when operating off of a microgrid system. That's, that's primarily where we're getting pulled into the market right now. So why is that important for people that are looking at doing solar and battery backup? Why, why is it important to, to have more control over your electrical system? Yeah, so, so we all know that our energy storage systems, whether they be generators or solar and batteries, uh, they've got a finite amount of energy that they can, they can distribute to a home. Um, they also have a finite amount of power that they can output at any time. So managing both your, your demand as well as your consumption, in our opinion, is critical. You need to be able to manage those two things if you're going to operate off of a, a standby or an optional power system with limited capacity. And it's going to, one, help keep the system running, two, help it run longer, and three, give the customer that flexibility and that choice to direct power to where they need it, when they need it. So one of the things that we see traditionally with solar and storage installers is uh, they have a difficult conversation with a homeowner, primarily when you're talking about backup power of, well, what circuits do you want to back up? What, what do you want to put in your essential loads panel? And they're forced to choose a handful of small circuits that they're going to be stuck with pretty much forever, unless you have an electrician that's willing to come in and, and relocate circuits. Uh, we feel like at Lumen, we're able to flip that script and tell the customer that, hey, you're, you're able to back up your whole house here, but we're still going to protect that energy storage system by using this energy management platform, that being Lumen, to protect the battery uh, while still giving you that flexibility and choice uh, to energize whichever circuits you need during that outage. Okay, awesome. So, so when you talk about a smart panel, is that basically what it is? One that gives you control 
to be able to turn individual circuits on or off, or does the panel yeah. actually do that for you? It's a terrific question. So, so we call our product the Lumen Smart Panel, but it's really an accessory to your existing circuit breaker box. So unlike a few other companies out there, maybe like Leviton or Span, which we have tremendous respect for, we take a different approach in that our hardware will connect to any existing circuit breaker in any existing load center. And from there, there's many levels of control. You could do the basic binary on and off. You can toggle your circuits through an app uh, or a web interface. You could schedule circuits for, uh, for time of use rate mitigation. You could uh, automate your circuits to respond to various external variables um, like a power outage. So you could, without ever interacting with your Lumen Smart Panel once installed, literally shed circuits that you don't immediately want to back up. And then, of course, you can always come back to your level one binary control and turn things on and off as you see fit, um, both during regular grid operation or operating off of your battery backup system. Got it. Got it. OK. And I can see how that would be very uh, effective for, for an installer, potentially not having to replace the, the entire circuit breaker panel, but, but more able to retrofit uh, onto that. Um, it, it, can you give the, the viewers any idea of, you know, kind of just, just a ballpark range of what the cost would be to retrofit an existing panel uh, into a, a Lumen adaptive uh, solution? Sure, absolutely. So um, we, we much like other uh, vendors in this industry have a certified installer program. Um, so we recommend homeowners reach out to one of our certified installers. They can either come directly to Lumen to find one, uh, or we encourage them to bring their solar and storage installers to us to get trained. Um, either way, I would say it, we don't have an MSRP, so we don't dictate the price of these things. And it sometimes depends on the complexity of the installation. But I would say ballpark on average, we're seeing our product being installed in homes for somewhere around 2,500 to maybe $3,500 or $4,000 at most. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, that's pretty competitive. Uh, you know, I've been, as I've been researching this space, it looks like, you know, some of the competitors are, are nearly double that price. So um, in fact, if you wouldn't mind, tell us a little bit more, you know, how does Lumen's product compare and really what makes your offering unique compared to some of these other smart, smart energy products that are on the market? Yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, um, really since the existence of our company, our mission has stayed very consistent, and that's just to make ordinary circuits smart and responsive, and that's the key differentiator. We are not replacing any existing circuit breaker box load center. Instead, we're retrofitting and attaching to it. We're really a complement to that load center, so that's the primary differentiator. Um, but uh, other ones would include you know, some of our software. We're completely agnostic uh, when it comes to ESS systems, energy storage systems. We don't require direct integration with any sort of um, battery management system or inverter platform. We can operate with anything on the market, whether it be Tesla, SolarEdge, Enphase, Solar, Schneider, Outback. We've paired with pretty much every system out there. Um, so we remain really neutral when it comes to energy storage. We do have a handful of partnerships out there that just enhance uh, the functionality of our system, of our smart circuits, when we do partner and when we do integrate. Uh, but that's really just icing on the cake, in my opinion. Uh, so. Yeah, that, those are a couple of things. We also believe that our product is a little bit more affordable, um, partly because we take a more modular approach. So unlike Leviton or Span, um, they have fully smart circuit, uh, circuit panels, meaning every single circuit in there has the potential of being smart uh, and controllable. And we think that that's great. I think that there's a necessary uh, spot in the market for products like that, especially new construction, where you're going to have to install a service panel anyway. Um, our product is modular in that for each Lumen panel that you can install, and they're stackable, meaning you can do multiple Lumen panels, we merge them together in the software, but each one comes with 12 lines of control. So you can choose up to 12 circuits to connect, and usually we're connecting to the 12 biggest circuits in the home. The ones that are going to, you know, even if you have 24, 36, 42 circuits, we find that uh, the 12 biggest electrical loads generally consume 70, maybe 80% of your energy consumption anyway. So we take a more modular approach to keep it affordable uh, and, and really just let the homeowners and their installers choose which circuits are important to control rather than trying to control the remaining, you know, 20% uh, of your energy consumption where there might be um, diminishing returns in, in terms of, of value. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I think you're absolutely right about that. You know, you know your central air conditioning, your water heater, there, there's a few handful of circuits that are really eating up most of your energy consumption if you think about it. Exactly right. If you've got an electric vehicle, that's another big one. Washer, dryer, dishwasher, 
really, really just a handful. Um, and, and that's why we've landed on that 12 number. Actually, the first product we ever built was a 42 panel, uh, 42 circuit smart panel. Um, and, and we just felt like over time, uh, as we tested it and, and went out to installers and uh, started talking to the market, we just felt like it was a bit overkill. Um, so if anything, we'll just become more modular in time. That's great. So let's, let's talk a little bit more specifically about in, in, a, uh, in an off-grid environment or a prolonged grid-down environment. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the Solark and, and Outback. Uh, Outback Radian is actually the system that I use on my home here. Uh, and a lot of folks that are really you know, looking for long-term grid-down preparedness prefer that type of a solar setup. Um, tell us about how does the lumen panel work in a grid-down environment? For example, if there's no internet connectivity, what, what would well, we expect? Yeah, excellent question. So we, we do require some form of um, cloud connectivity or internet connectivity just to get our system set up, um, meaning the initial programming, naming your circuits, setting any sort of modes or schedules that you want for your household needs. But the moment that you lose cloud connectivity, Lumen continues to operate. So we store our programs, we store our modes, we store all of our preset controls locally inside of the Lumen Smart Panel. It will remember those schedules, it will remember those modes. So if you are in a prolonged outage, you don't have access to internet, that's okay. The moment that the grid goes down, or even if you don't have grid service at all, we'll continue to operate. And, and we'll do so um, in really a couple of forms. You can just have it automated, meaning set it and forget it, or you can access the Lumen Smart Panel through a local area network connection. So we always encourage our installers and our homeowners, if, if operating uh, in a battery backup, ensure that your router is backed up. It's a, usually a small load anyway. Um, and even if that router is not connected to the internet, the Lumen Smart Panel can communicate directly with that router, and that router can communicate directly with your mobile device, whatever's connected to it. So through a local area network connection, you can go into your cell phone, into your app, and say, you know what, uh, it's, it's you know Texas ice storm, uh, the water pipes have been frozen, there's an advisory that we need to be boiling our water right now, I'm gonna go in and override my off-grid mode, which previously had turned off my range, preserve the battery life. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on so that I can at least boil some water so that I can have a safe drinking supply. So you always have that option of overriding any of your preset controls, even if you don't have internet. You can do it through that local area network connection. Okay, that's great. That's good to know. Again, especially for, for folks out there that are you know looking at true grid down preparedness. So yeah, what really. else? What else should the audience know about the Lumen panel? And where, where can they go right now if this is something that they want to get, get a hold of? Is it, is it just go straight to your website? Uh, or yeah. So, so um, a couple of things I would suggest. One, uh, they're welcome to go to uh, www.lumensmart.com. That's L-U-M-I-N-S-M-A-R-T. Um, there we have resources for both installers, uh, those looking to become certified, or our existing network. Um, we have partner portals and everything to download their, their technical documentation, install guides, all of that stuff. And for homeowners, um, we also have resources for them as well. We have uh, case studies, homeowner profiles. Uh, we have uh, our own YouTube channel. Um, I can't say it rivals yours, but uh, primarily made for homeowners to get um, familiarized with the Lumen Smart Panel. So what does it do? How does it work? Uh, we've got a five minute demo there that shows kind of how it integrates into a home, what the software platform looks like, how you use the app, um, just sort of the basics there. So th that would be a good place to start. And then if they're already working with a solar and storage installer and they're interested in using Lumen, um, they should ask that installer if, if they're already certified to install the product. If they say yes, great. Uh, if not, we would encourage them to put their installer in touch with us so we can get them trained uh, and, and able to order directly from us. So we do ship directly to our certified installer network. Um, we're, we're mostly staying away from distributors at the time, um, though we do have a couple of relationships with them as well. Uh, and so really, really we're open to any and all business, anybody that wants to, uh, to learn more is, is welcome to reach out, homeowners, installers alike. Excellent. Now, is it possible, I understand this may not be, but is it, is it possible for those that are doing a, a do-it-yourself solar installation, can the owners themselves go through the installation certification process or does it have to be a licensed company? Uh, it, they can. So we, we have um, what I referred to as a certified installer program, um, but we are, we are open to selling directly to homeowners as well. We do require that they go through our same training that our installers would go through. 
We encourage a licensed electrician to do the work. However, it is not a requirement. Um, so the installation of the Lumen Smart Panel itself is fairly simple. We, we find that it takes about uh, two, two to maybe four hours on average. Um, it's not uh, it's not a whole lot of work. Our product comes pre-wired, so you never even need to open up the Lumen Smart Panel. Um, all of our wires are, are already landed in lugs, uh, and we've got built-in conduit that has wire whips coming out. So as long as this do-it-yourselfer here is comfortable working on you know, a high-voltage uh, circuit break box um, and has experience doing so, they're welcome to, to order our product and go through our training um, and, and complete the job themselves. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Jonathan, I just want to say thank you again. Thanks so much for giving us your time and your expertise. Um, I feel like I've personally learned a lot that I didn't know already about, about the product, so I'm glad that we were able to get the information out there uh, to the audience. So folks, this is it, the Lumen Smart Panel. The website is lumensmart.com. You can go there to learn more about the product or even sign up for the certified installation uh, program. So please be sure to check that out. Thanks again for the invite, Joe. Cheers. All right. So folks, this has been a presentation on the Smart Adaptive Panel from Lumen and how it gives you more control of your home's energy system. As always, if you're getting good value from the videos we have on this channel, make sure you click that like button and also click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos. Uh, it really helps when you do that so it makes YouTube show the video to more people. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.